Let us pray. O God, source of all light, by your word you give light to the soul. Pour out on us the spirit of wisdom and understanding that our hearts and minds may be opened this day. Amen. You could say it's for the birds. For the birds. For the birds, the bird song project is an endeavor organized by the National Audubon Society as a celebration of the joy and mysteries of birdsong via visual art, music, and poetry. It is a historic and unprecedented outpouring of creativity by more than 220 musical artists, actors, literary figures, and visual artists. In total, it includes 174 original pieces of music more than 70 poems, and 20 original album covers, all inspired by the joy of birds and the desire to protect them. Its release in May of this year does not disappoint. Another volume drops this week on July 29th. All proceeds from this collection benefit the National Audubon Society's mission to protect birds and the places they need today, tomorrow, and for all of our futures. No matter the feather, no matter the flock, all are precious and inspiring and fundamental to our world. A world without birds would be a world without freedom, flight, or song. In the recent music video from volume two, the celebrated American cellist Yo-Yo Ma performs an original piece entitled in the Gale, created in collaboration with a Grammy-nominated composer, Anna Klein. Perhaps it's the only piece of music written for cello and birdsong. The video opens with Ma sitting alone with his instrument in a wooded landscape across, alongside a chorus of some of nature's most gifted singers. For three minutes and 54 seconds, you hear Yo-Yo Ma engage and complement the vast expanse of the forest. And by the end, it's as if a transformation takes place. Yo-Yo Ma and his cello become conversation partners with those majestic birds in nature. The first time I heard it, I had to stop what I was doing. I had to sit back, imagining myself in those woods mesmerized by the trees, hearing the song and the birds, all of the sounds. And for all the rhythms of our life, music plays an integral role in evoking a life experience. It certainly was true when I heard In the Gale and saw the video. It caught me at a moment when I needed to be called into the tranquility of nature, to remove myself for a little while from the whirlwind of life. Well, music helps us get out of our own heads, right? It's a place that Christians, we Christians like to stay a long time, right? To get out of our heads and into a deeper place of the soul. Well, week in and week out, we praise God in this space with sacred music during the, and during the program year, the organs with assistance from the choir complement the architectural grandeur and the holiness of this space. It's architecture, after all, that informs the worship of God. Time and time again in this sacred space, there is a planful and prayerful hope that we can get out of our own ways long enough to let the Holy Spirit catch us and take hold of us and lead us wherever she may go. The task of this day and in our lives is to offer the very best that we have to God in gratitude for all that God has given us. With that said, we cannot thank Minister of Music Kevin Jones and the First Church Choir enough for making the faithful commitment in your own lives 
to witness to God's glory each and every day and each and every week, and to lift your best to God. Your spiritual centeredness helps us all connect to God in a much deeper way. You help us on a weekly basis to be rooted in faith. And we are eternally grateful. Just as music transforms our lives and roots us in our faith in God through Jesus Christ, so do does our practice of prayer, both personal prayer on a daily basis and also our corporate prayer together. Prayer can transcend. Prayer can lead us to new discoveries. Prayer can illuminate places in our lives that we have been ignoring for a long time. Prayer can also be an honest plea of desperation. Prayer can bring about healing and comfort and hope. And boy, don't we need hope right about now. In Luke's gospel, Jesus invites us into relationship with God through prayer offering us the opportunity to approach the God whose name is too holy to speak and whose countenance is too terrible to behold with familiarity, boldness, and trust of a young child running to her parents for both provision and protection. Prayer, according to both this passage and also Luke's larger portrait of Jesus, is not primarily about getting things from God, but rather about the relationship that we have with God. Similarly, we are invited to make all of our needs and wants and our hurts, our hopes and desires known to God. While at other places in scripture, we are told that God knows our needs without being asked. Here we are invited to make them known, to speak them into existence in the confidence that whatever may happen, the relationship can bear hearing these things, and it may actually even depend upon hearing them. Back to the bird song. For the Birds offers the best of American poets as well. And here's an offering from Wendell Berry entitled, The Hidden Singer. The gods are less for their love of praise. Above and below them all is a spirit that needs nothing but its own wholeness, its health, and ours. It has made all things by dividing itself. It will be whole again. To its joy we come together, the seer and the seen, the eater and the eaten, the lover and the loved. In our joining it knows itself. It is with us then not as the gods whose names crest in unhealthy fire, but as a little bird hidden in the leaves who sings quietly and waits and sings. In her book, Traveling Mercies, Anne Lamott writes in that our two best prayers are help me, help me, help me, help me, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think Jesus might agree, as there rests in Jesus' words to his disciples then and now an invitation, above all else, an invitation to honesty and candor that comes from intimacy and trust. Friends, Jesus today invites us into a deeper and more honest and more trusting relationship with the God who desires to be known chiefly as loving parent, provider of all that is good and protector of all in need. And while this may not give us everything we want, at least it gives us what we most need. Give us this day our daily bread. Indeed. Amen.